Je regarde euh, la salle, je vois que la réaction est positive, je n'entends pas d'objection. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. Globally, efforts are being made to minimize the impacts of climate change and to limit the global temperature rise to safe level. In 2015, 196 nations, party to Paris Agreement, agreed in limiting the global temperature to 1.5 degrees Celsius. As per the agreement, the party countries have to prepare and implement nationally determined contributions NDC that contains the national goals, policies and measures for addressing climate change. Did the first NDC in 2016 and later the second NDC was submitted in 2020. As per the Ministry of Energy, Water Resources and Irrigation, approximately 66% of the total energy use is from biomass-based energy. 27% is from fossil fuels and only 7% is from hydroelectricity and renewable energy sources. Department of Customs data showed that in the fiscal year 2078-79, petroleum products worth 3.83 billion NPR was imported. Nepal is paying a lot of its foreign currency reserve in importing petroleum products. Nepal's second nationally determined contribution targets to replace cooking energy sources with electric cooking stoves in 25% of the households. Install improved cooking stoves in 500,000 households and construct 200,000 household level and 500 large-scale biogas plants by 2030. By 2030, it aims to increase sales of e-vehicles to cover 90% of all private passenger vehicle sales, including two-wheelers and 60% of all four-wheeler public passenger vehicle sales. It also targets to generate 15,000 megawatt of electricity by 2030. Like Nepal, many countries have also emphasized transition to renewable energy as a solution to address climate crisis in their respective NDCs. Acknowledging this fact, the Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development of the German government has supported multi-actor partnership for 100% renewable energy project initiative in Nepal, Vietnam and Uganda. In Nepal, Prakriti Resources Center and WWF Nepal are jointly implementing the multi-stakeholder partnership for 100% renewable energy project that aims to facilitate the implementation of the country's nationally determined contribution and support to achieve the national goal of net zero emissions by 2045. The project advocates for a just energy transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources and also safeguarding rights and livelihoods of families likely to be affected by the transition. It emphasizes on a promotion of energy mix for sustainable and resilient energy. Capacity building, awareness raising and policy dialogue among stakeholders of energy sector in Nepal are major activities of the project. These activities have supported in internalizing of the concepts of just transition and energy mix in policy making process of the energy sector in Nepal. The reason that we are working in the multi-actor partnerships program is that our ambition to achieve 100% renewable by 2050. And to do so, we need all the sectors working together to build a pathways how you're gonna achieve that. So it will help the decision makers, the policy makers, the investors, how we're gonna move that, make that transition from fossil fuel to renewable energy. And that's the one of the reasons that we came all together and we made it happen in terms of technical reporting. But now the next one is we're gonna make a policy brief, which will be easier for the policymakers to guide the path towards achieving 100% renewable by 2050. 
This project set up a multi-actor partnership platform that includes government agencies, national and international development organizations, bank and financing institutions, private companies, academia and research organizations and other concerned experts and organizations working on energy sector and initiates a constructive dialogue for scaling up renewable energy in Nepal. यो बहुदेशीय प्लेटफर्म में जलवायु परिवर्तन र नवीकरणीय ऊर्जा संबंधी चाशो राखने तेस में चाह योगदान दिन सकने विभिन्न सरकार वाला को मन छो जलवायु परिवर्तन संबोधन करने रवीकरणीय ऊर्जा देश भि कसरी प्रवर्धन कर सकता वेस में बहस करने नीतिगत रूप में चाह छलफल चलाने रमता अभिवृद्धि का कार्यक्रम करने र संगसंग चाहे कई रूप में अनुसंधान रध्ययन भी करने करते आया छो सरकार ने लिखे अंतरराष्ट्रीय रूप में लिखे बस लाष्ट्रीयकरण कसरी कर सकता और तेल राष्ट्रीय आंखा बड़ा कसरी हेन सकता भर तेज के बारे में व्यापक नीतिगत रूप में छलफल करालीम दिया गई नोवेबर में तो हमें अंतरराष्ट्रीय सम्मेलन भी आयोजना गये Members of the platform express their satisfaction that this dialogue is useful to understand the nexus of climate change and renewable energy and provides an opportunity for individual and institutional capacity development. Pahila pahila chai energy ekle isolation ma kaam garirathe ha jasto hami garda keri chai energy services ma matrai kaam garthyo bhane pachi abe map ma hami engage bhai sake pachi hami energy ra energy lai pani क्लाइमेट चेंज को लेंस कसरी हेने भाई कुछ मुख्य करें मोर क्लारिटी आयो इस एकदम राम बेनिफिट दिए कि दु तीनवटा कुरा में एवं चाहे कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग में मैं को मेरे कलिगर को अर्क नेटवर्किंग में धेरे के संस्था एकडेमी डिफ्रेंट इंस्टिट्यूशनसंग जो कनेक्टिविटी भो तो भो The multi-actor partnership for 100% renewable energy project has conducted research on the situation of energy use and possibilities and challenges for energy transition in Nepal. In collaboration with the University of Technology Sydney Australia, a study on technical scenario of 100% renewable energy in Nepal by 2050 possible transition pathways for ndc and lts implementation was completed and the report was published this will support in policy advocacy for promotion and scaling up renewable energy actions in nepal yo project le khas gari navikarane urja ma hami 70% jana sakinchha bhanera awareness garne advocacy lobbying garne euta mahatvapurna kaam le garyo र नवीकरणीय ऊर्जा में हमीर जान को लगी तैयार पारने हिसाब से यह जलवायु परिवर्तन तेस को जलवायु परिवर्तन रजा को संबंध तो विषय में छलफल करने इसमें संबंध संस्था को बीच में अंतक्रिया करने उन्मता विस करने तो हिसाब से हमीस कार्यक्रम ने प्रत्यक्ष सहकार गये राम उद्देश्य कार्यक्रम को उद्देश्य में यह The project has provided technical support to Ministry of Drinking Water, Energy and Irrigation in Bagmati Province and Ministry of Energy, Water Resources and Energy in Gondaki Province to develop their respective provincial energy strategy and action plan. Prakriti Resources Center, Marphat Sanyi, I am from Gondaki Pradesh. ऊर्जा रणनीति तैयार भैर भविष्य में हम ऊर्जा संबंधी रणनीति के हो तो कसरी हमें यह हंड्रेड पर्सेंट रिन्ुएबल इनर्जी हमें यूज करने भाई हिसाब से कसरी अगड़ी बढ़ु पर्च भिस्बले एट मार्ग निर्देशन दिने हिसाब से हम ऊर्जा रणनीति तैयार होते इसलिए हमें समग्र गंडकी प्रदेश में दिगो लक्ष्य हासिल करना ऊर्जा रणनीति हमीर सहयोग प्रकृति रिसोर्स सेंटर को सहयोग में हमी बागमती प्रदेश सरकार को ऊर्जा रणनीति बना चो अमें स्वीकृति को प्रक्रिया में छे बागमती प्रदेश को समग्र ऊर्जा को स्वरूप अथवा रोड मैप सन् दुई हजार तीस समय कस्तु स्पष्टता किटान कर रणनीति बना बना को सन्दर्भ में हम प्रकृति रिसोर्स सेंटर ने विभिन्न ऊर्जा संबंधी सरकार वाला छलफल में तो एवं हमें राम्रे डकुमेंट रणनीति प्लस कार्य योजना दुईट बने बागमती प्रदेश ऊर्जा सेक्टर में अगड़ी फड़को मानक एटा 
Ramro Aadhar Bud document ban samanye mere asaliye kuchu. The project has made direct and positive impacts in the community's livelihoods by successfully piloting renewable energy technologies. In Marine Rural Municipality and Devghat Rural Municipality, a lifting of water for drinking water using solar energy was successfully completed. Similarly, the project had also supported an irrigation project using solar energy in Bagmati Rural Municipality. Bagmati Gaon Palika ko oran number four ko yo dhanjara beshi maachai solar maachpat lifting garera lifting si chai ko pariyojana gareka chau. Chawan na gar dhiri ne lavan de dhanjas maachai. Tin se rupani tin se dash rupani jati lagvag jaga sa tin jaga lagje pure si chai lagse ti pani le. Yeh targari haru atha palbul haru atha bali haru utpadan ma ali badi. The entire world is witnessing the impacts of climate change. Developing countries like Nepal are among the most affected. Energy transition is crucial for addressing climate crisis. The multi-actor partnership for 100% renewable energy project has succeeded in engaging stakeholders and advocating just energy transition for addressing dual problems of energy security in the country and climate change. The project has showed that a constructive engagement and result-oriented dialogue among government, development agencies, private sector, academia, media and other stakeholders can facilitate just energy transition in the country.